Yeah. There has been ongoing uh, communication with Bernie Weber, who informed us also. Um, he knows about our game, of course, and we stay in touch with him the whole game. Um, he was involved in the whole preparation of the game, um, so um, everything was was clear what we wanted to do, and um, we, st we stayed the whole time in, uh, in touch with him. And uh, yeah, we're good. And what are his thoughts at the end of the game? Why you made such hard work of it? Yeah, I did not. I did not talk right now uh, to him, but uh, we will do later. Um, I think we had, uh, for me, 60 minutes. Uh, we could also lead 3-1. Uh, we had very many opportunities, crosses from the side, touches in the box. Um, a little bit uh, unlucky with, with crossbar uh, post. Um, uh, in the same time, he scored uh, more or less a own goal. And then we bring us, uh, at the end, we bring us also a little bit in difficulty. Um, but everybody was, will say in the FA Cup, the most important thing is to go through, and that's what we did. I just wanted to, just a, a technical point, please. I just wanted with Thomas testing positive yesterday. What's the situation with the Club World Cup for next week? And also, I wonder if you could talk just about in the, the performance of Lukaku. He's been trying to get back into the swing of things, and today maybe um, not as effective as maybe it could have been. And how frustrating it must be for him trying to get back into the goals the way he has after a break. Yeah, first of all, we uh, uh, I do right now not exactly uh, know uh, what the situation is with Thomas uh, when he will be back. Um, he has to follow the, the government rules um, and uh, has, is in self-isolation. So uh, we will be looking forward for next days. Um, the second is the question was uh, Romelu Lukaku. Yeah, it's um, maybe for him a little bit tough right now to find uh, or to, to score. He's working a lot for the team. Um, doing lots of touches, but he's a little bit unlucky. Um, and uh, it's, yeah, we try to, to put him, we try to uh, give him opportunities, and uh, we will do, uh, we will keep on going like this. I mean, he's, he's an important player for us, and um, he's our striker, and uh, Therefore, he needs also some trust in, in moments maybe he, he does not score. So, all good. Maybe we'll go to Nizar Kinsella. Hi, Anna. Congrats on the result. Um, was it, is it a little bit of a problem that you played 120 minutes today ahead of the Club World Cup? Are you going to be tired, essentially, for this tournament? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Um, but we had to, to accept that after the break we had, it was uh, tough against the opponent who was uh, very, very good organized. And uh, to play 120 minutes was not the target for today, we have to say. Um, we lack also a little bit of, of little, little injuries, hopefully only little injuries. Um, so, yeah, we will see. We will see. It is, it is not easy to come after a break. Come in a, in a game like this, even if we were, uh, for me, we were for a long time, it's also a good game. I don't know. I just wanted to check did, did Mason come off with an injury? And if so, is there any reason to be concerned about him going to the Club World Cup? But so hopefully not. We will see. He um, he felt it once in additional time when he had a shot on uh, target. And only by this shot, it was not a problem, a serious problem during the game. It was only when he uh, had this shot and he um, realized quick that uh, that he felt pain and uh, therefore we took, took him off. Uh, but we will see if there will be further exams. So uh, hopefully not too bad, but uh, right now I cannot promised uh, what the situation is. Hey, Nick Kewell. Um, can you just give us a word on, on Kepler, obviously, with the penalty save? Um, the, the save there, obviously, 
stopped it going to uh, to a shootout, didn't it? And you know yeah. we've seen it a few times recently how how good he is at um, saving penalties. Um, it just we've seen him kind of move back with confidence. Um, you know, taking real steps forward week on week, haven't we? He, he must be feeling pretty good right now. Yeah, and I think also it's not all. I, I found him very liable in his in his uh, game, and um, he has the strength also to save these penalties. He has shown it a few times now in Carabao Cup twice against Villarreal, and <laughs> I can only say in, even in training, uh, it's, it's hard to beat him in uh, penalty uh, shootout. He has the ability to to read also the the, the mind of the player and what he's going to do. So. Uh, yeah, we are very happy with Skipper. Um, I mean, he deserves also uh, this trust because he's a fantastic guy to work with him now since one year. Yes, it's uh, hard for him because Edu is playing also very good and uh, he's constantly doing in training um, very good um, work, so reliable work and friendly. It's an amazing guy and um, I'm also very happy for him that he could save us uh, for a penalty shooter. And the final question for today, Liam Toomey. Hi Arlo, nice to talk Hello. to you. Um, I just wanted to ask how today felt for you being the one kind of in the technical area, dishing out the instructions and, and, and also saw uh, Zolo and Anthony Barry doing plenty of talking with the, yeah. with, with the players as well throughout the game. Was, was that always the plan for it to be a, a, a team effort the start managing the game with some steps. Exactly, absolutely right. So uh, we also see it as a, as a team effort, Scholz, Anthony and me also, and H is included, uh, Benny is included, uh, understand, uh, so uh, we give us the, the, the information we need also. No, it is, it is really, it is a team effort and uh, it, we all felt a little bit excited because we are used to have Thomas on our side. Um, it is different. Have to be. It is different, but we uh, the team does it uh, very easy for us and um, help us also in our, in our work. And uh, we felt very good and felt very good supported also. But it is it is definitely different to um, uh, when Thomas is there and we are not uh, the main responsible for it. Hey, Linda, there. Thank you, everyone.